Hi, um, today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit more about antibiotic resistance and how it affects our society today. Um, although the battle is against it is really tough and our antibiotics aren't being so efficient anymore, the use of antibiotics has many benefits to our society. But the abuse of it through livestock, um, which is consumed by most of us, and the unforeseen development of new drugs is going to lead to antibiotic resistance. The purpose of this speech is to inform my audience of the current circumstances of our society and the path that it's going towards an antibiotic resistant generation. We're going to be discussing three major points. Um, first, we're going to discuss the increase of antibiotic resistance throughout the years. Second, the effects um, that antibiotic use on animals has on humans and on animals as well. And the unforeseen development of new drugs and how it's going to play out in the future for us. Um, throughout history, antibiotic resistance has been increasing. And in an article called Antibiotic Use in Animal, Animal Agriculture is Dangerous and Unnecessary in the magazine called Antibiotics, published in 2011, um, they state that in the 1950s, um, drugs, antibiotics were first given, to, um, were first accepted, allowed to give to animals by the FDA. They were given to animals as a growth serum, not for medical uses, but as a growth serum. On the by the 70s, almost all population of chickens in the U.S. were being fed these antibiotics in order to grow. And by the 90s, more than 10 billion pounds of antibiotics were being used on animals alone. The effects that the antibiotics have on animals is very strong. Um, in that same magazine, Antibiotics, there's a journal entry called Feed Stuff that reports that chickens um, were fed so much antibiotics to grow and they grew so fast that their lungs and heart did not develop fast enough to accompany their body, causing them to die of heart failure. This is just one case. Some animals die of joint failures. It's very sad. And the Union of Concerned Scientists estimates that about 80%, as you can see here, almost 80% of um, the antibiotics used in the U.S., made in the U.S., um, are used on livestock. Only 20% of the antibiotics are being used on actually humans. And now um, for the effects that antibiotic use on animals have on humans, um, Ms. Catherine Shia um, in the article, Antibiotic Resistance, What is the Impact of Agricultural Uses on Antibiotics of Antibiotics on Children's Health, speaks of the outbreak in humans and how it's becoming so much more common um, there is a report of a mother who developed a six-drug resistant strain of a bacteria called Salmonella typhimurium, and she developed that just by drinking raw milk. Um, although, whenever, although she was pregnant and she showed no signs of being ill, whenever she delivered her baby, her baby was born with meningitis. And not only that, the kids that stayed in the same nursery as her child also um, were treated were tested and they were also um, resistant to the drug. 50 years ago this would not have been possible but due to the misuse of antibiotics in our society today we are creating resistance and res resilient antibody antibodies that are growing very ineffective. The last point that we're going to discuss today is the unforeseen development of new drugs um, Penicillin was an antibiotic that was created in the 1940s by Alexander Fleming and it was created through mold testing and whenever this drug came out it was the miracle drug um, and the use of it was with no measures. Um, in Roswell Quinn's research um, article saying rethinking antibiotic research and development he states that there were four million packages per month of penicillin being made. Um, this is leading to our nation's biggest downfall. It's the road to no return because we're fighting against um, 
an enemy that has a 3.5 billion years of a head start, the bacteria. And while it takes us about 17 years to grow and to per perfect a new antibiotic, it takes them just about seconds for them to develop. So um, today we discussed how antibiotic resistance has increased throughout the years, how um, using antibiotics on animals affects humans and animals, and the future development of new drugs is not really, and how the future of new drugs is not accompanying the growth and increase of antibiotic resistance. Um, the decisions taken until now are inevitably lost in fighting against um, our current circumstances, but it's never too late to walk in the path of gaining knowledge and fighting against the continuous spread of antibiotic resistance. Thanks.